एवरी वन दिस इज डॉक्टर दिव्या मदान है दिस इज शॉर्ट वीडियो फॉर दो इज अपेयरिंग इन द अपकमिंग आई एन आई सी टी एग्जाम एज यू ऑल ऑफ एम विद द पैटर्न ऑफ वीडियो बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड दिस वीडियो इज अ फ्रीक्वेंटली आज वीडियो दैट इज गिवन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी टाइम इन द एग्जाम दिस इज अ प्री टर्म इन रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस एंड दे आस्क अबाउट ईदर द स्कोर और दे आस्क यू टू कैलकुलेट द स्कोर ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस एंड यू कैन नॉट अफोर्ड टू मार्क दिस क्वेश्चन रॉन्ग so here is the video uh, telling about the silverman anderson score as you can see in this video that the child they give the is a preterm neonate right and the score that we apply for a preterm neonate is silverman anderson score whereas for a term baby we apply downy score so here in this video we are going to discuss about silverman anderson score There are five components in the score: upper chest retractions, lower chest retractions, zygoid retractions, nasal flaring, and grunting. Out of these, the two most important that you need to keep in your mind are upper chest retractions, the first one, and grunting. That is the fifth one. Uh, we give three grades to each of these components. Grade zero is towards the normal, and as the grading increases, the severity of the distress increases. So, as I mentioned earlier, upper chest retractions. and expiratory grunt is something that you need to remember because they are different from others right as you can see others grade 0 is when none of these is there grade 1 when barely visible or just visible a uh, sign of distress is there and grade 2 when there uh, the sign of distress is easily seen right but in case of upper chest retractions we give grade 0 when there is synchronized movement of the chest along with the abdomen Grade one, when there is a lack on inspiration, and grade two, when there is seesaw movement, that is the opposite movement of the chest and the abdomen, right? And when it comes to grunt, grade zero, when there is no grunting, grade one, when the grunt is visible or heard or heard with a stethoscope, and grade two, when it is heard by ear. So we calculate each of these and give a total score, and we on the basis of this total score. we label whether the child is in mild respiratory distress moderate or severe if the score is between 1 to 3 then it is a mild respiratory distress 4 to 6 moderate and more than 7 is the severe one please revise the score just before going to the exam because you cannot afford to mark this question wrong okay see you next time bye bye